A new U.S.-Taiwan venture called the Talent Circulation Alliance has released its first white paper. Its launch event was attended by Taiwan's leadership, including President Tsai Ing-wen and legislative speaker Yoshi Kun, as well as American Institute in Taiwan director Brent Christensen. The paper contains recommendations on how Taiwan can ensure a pool of, quote, internationally oriented and technologically savvy talent. One recommendation is to turn English into the official language of work for sectors, including finance, technology, and the central government. At the release of the Talent Circulation Alliance White Paper, President Tsai underscored the importance of industrial globalization and deregulation that allows foreign talent to enter Taiwan. Tsai said Taiwan would continue toward the goal of becoming bilingual in English and Chinese by 2030. Due to the pandemic, supply chains around the world are shifting, and Taiwan stands ready to take advantage of these opportunities and play a key role in supply chains of the future. To meet these challenges and opportunities, we are working to strengthen Taiwan's talent pool in two major areas, bilingual capabilities and digital skills. If Taiwan's top talent is deeply connected with the free and open Indo-Pacific, then its future will likewise remain centered in the democratic world. The main conclusion the TCA reached is that Taiwan needs to transform itself into an international talent hub. Christensen quoted the white paper which said, Taiwan has few natural resources, but it has an abundance of talented people. He continued, if the people of Taiwan are equipped with the necessary skills and then connected to the world, Taiwan will naturally succeed and be able to chart its own future for decades to come. The Talent Circulation Alliance was created in April last year by the American Institute in Taiwan and Taiwanese authorities. Over the past 10 months, the alliance has held conferences and roundtables to collect input from various organizations, which was consolidated into the white paper. After the ceremony, reporters asked Tsai about the Taiwan Defense Act, but she did not comment on the matter. The act is a bill introduced by U.S. Senator Josh Hawley on Thursday. On Twitter, Hawley described the legislation as a means to stop Chinese imperialism, defending the U.S.'s vital interest and its partner Taiwan. In a statement, he said, If the Chinese Communist Party is allowed to seize control of Taiwan, it will stand ready to dominate the region, adding that we must not allow that to happen. If the bill is enacted, the defense secretary would have to report to Congress on the U.S.'s ability to prevent a Chinese attack on Taiwan. The defense secretary would be required to report on the role of nuclear forces in the U.S.'s strategy for deterring China.